Peace and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, we're going to be talking about something that a lot of women did not heed my warning about. And that is the fact that there will be no more men left for them to choose from. Due to a lot of men packing their things up and shipping on out, a lot of us females will be left by ourselves to fend for ourselves. And it's all because we did not want to listen. We did not want to be in alignment with these men. Notice I said men. These are the guys that would be ready and willing to take care of you, provide for you, protect you, lead you, love you. Yes. These were those. Y'all didn't want to listen to them. Y'all want to pretend like you were the prize. You want to treat these men like they were the option. They were the ATM. They were just something to do. In all actuality, you needed those men. And again, when I tried to warn you ladies about this, I was all kind of pick me's. I was all kind of mammies. I was all kind of male identified, right? I was all of these derogatory, slanderous names when all I was trying to do was lead you and guide you in the right direction to prevent this from happening. I knew that by a lot of us as women not being on one accord with these men and taking heed and listening to their warnings, listening to their concerns, and making the proper adjustments, I already knew that this would be inevitable. This would have been the result. Now you have women here frantic, like, oh, well, what are we going to do? You know, if all of the men are checked out and all the men are done and all the men are flying out and going overseas, like, you know, what, what does that leave us as women? Stranded. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Again, we tried to warn them, did we not? They took us as a joke. They said, oh, these men ain't going nowhere. We the prize. They just bluffing. Those men, those men don't really want to leave. They just trying to get us to act right. No, they were serious. When these men saw that a lot of you females were just here to play around, they were gone. Now we are being left asking ourselves this dark question of what are we going to do? If all of the men are gone, what are we going to do? And again, my answer is be stranded and alone. You should have listened. Y'all think everything is a damn joke until the joke is on you. Y'all think that y'all will always be the exception until you're exed out. Until you come to see and realize that, oh, that applied to me as well? Yes. Men today are not playing. I've been telling y'all that. Now, look at us. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe because what we have here huh, is a situation where a lot of women that claim to be boss chicks, strong and independent, the most beautiful, aka the prize possession, what we have right now is a lot of you females stuck, looking very worried. Hold on. Look at her face. Let's blow this up. Look at her face. She's like, oh my God, like, what do we do? And I'm pretty sure she was one of those boss chicks out here talking about, oh, we don't care. You guys can go. We don't need you. We've been thriving and surviving on our own all this time. We'll be just fine without you. 
Look at y'all now. Thoroughly worried, confused, trying to figure things out. What am I going to do? What do you all expect for us to do? I don't know. Y'all are the most educated, right? Y'all are the most uh, wise and intelligent, right? Y'all are the prize. Y'all are the bosses, right? Y'all are the most powerful, right? I'm pretty sure you'll figure it out, right, ma'ams? I'm pretty sure you got it all under control, right, ma'ams? Because after all, y'all don't need no man. So why even ask such a question of what are we going to do? Where does that leave us if all the men are done? If all the men are gone and checked out, what does that leave us women? I don't know. Figure it out. Let's get into it. What do you suggest the women in the West do if everyone's advice is for men in the West to look elsewhere for a wife? What happens to all the women in the West then? Well, did y'all hear her question? She said, what, what do you all advise for us to do if all of the men are checked out? What do the women in the West do? Let's take it back. She is very concerned. Look at her face. So what do you suggest the women in the West do if everyone's advice is for men in the west to look elsewhere for a wife what happens to all the women in the west then well that one study we referenced was said by 2030 or something 50 percent of women will be without a man so that's that's the direction we're heading because the men that are looking for those traditional values are starting to go overseas and then two the other half of the men are just checking out completely they don't want to deal with women at all so this is going to be a big issue that women are going to deal with in the future as their options dwindle Let's play it again one more time. I, I need y'all to really understand how serious this is. He said by 2030? Play it again. Like, so, share, comment. You... Hold on. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Really pay attention. Listen to the issue at hand right now. This is not something to be taken lightly, which is why she's very worried about this. This is a serious question that a lot of women will be faced with. What do we do? 2030 is not that far off. What is that, seven years? Girl, I would give it less than that, to be honest. The way that these movements, as far as, you know, men going overseas and as far as men being checked out and, you know, focusing on themselves and semen retention and all of this, the way that these movements are really catching on and, and men putting their brothers onto these different movements and, you know, lifestyles and stuff of that sort. Like I wouldn't even give it to 2030. I wouldn't. We're seeing this happen way too frequently and fast. Ladies, <laughs> y'all should have been listening. Let's take it back. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. So what do you suggest the women in the West do if everyone's advice is for men in the West to look elsewhere for a wife? What happens to all the women in the West then? Well, that one study we referenced was said by 2030 or something, 50% of the women will be without a man. So that's that's the direction we're heading because the men that are looking for those traditional values are starting to go overseas. And then two, the other half of the men are just checking out completely. They don't want to deal with women at all. So this is going to be a big issue that women are going to deal with in the future as their options dwindle. And you know what? Due to a lot of you females being in your feelings about this, I'll bet that you still try to do a bunch of shaming of these men. Oh, well, yeah, what y'all mean y'all done with women? Uh, y'all must be gay and y'all must be weak and y'all must be conquered and y'all must can't handle no real women. No, 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 no. Pump your brakes, ma'ams. Mm -mm. See, those shaming tactics, they don't work. No. This is the problem now. This is the problem now. Y'all thought that y'all could shame these men into getting back on cold with you and your counterproductive, destructive behavior. Y'all thought that these men were bluffing and then y'all found out the hard way. 
<laughs> See, instead of, again, taking heed to what these men were saying, as far as, hey, we need you women to do this. We need for our women to do that. Look, we're ready and willing to be the men that you want us to be. Look, we're here. But we need you to be the women that we are looking for you to be. That's all. Fair exchange. That's all men were looking for. That's all they were asking for. It was not something that was complex. It was not something that was difficult to deliver upon. We just, as quote unquote westernized women, we just want to be in control. We just want to dominate. And men, again, emphasis on men, not males, not little boys. Men were like, no. I didn't work this hard and come this far and build myself up to this level to be walked all over and treated like somebody's son. No. You're either going to reciprocate and appreciate or I can go. And that's exactly what they did. Now you all are stuck on stupid, looking stupid, scratching your heads like, what are we going to do now? Don't know. And to be honest, a lot of these men don't care. They don't care what you do. Men today are prioritizing themselves, their peace, their happiness, their freedom over trying to save women, over trying to convert women over into being real authentic women. They're done. A lot of these men are done trying to save you, rescue you, get you to act right. That is a wrap. And unfortunately, a lot of you females will be by yourselves. Now, I know what y'all say. We don't care. We've been doing it by ourselves anyway. We don't need these men. They the ones who need us. Uh, do they? Because it's looking like y'all are extremely replaceable. And again, I understand the narratives that y'all try to push. The lies. That y'all try to feed each other to make yourselves feel better about the outcomes and, and the results as far as these men packing their things up and being very serious about their stances. Oh, we don't need y'all anyway. Oh, we good. You know, only a pick me would, would need a man. We don't need no man. We independent. We bosses. Hmm. Is that why a lot of you boss chicks are crying? Now that you're older and you don't have the families that you thought that you would have right now, is that why a lot of you boss chicks, strong, independent, and all are out here paying top dollar for male sperm so that you can create your own babies because you didn't know how to get in alignment with the men that you would want to build families with? Is that why? <laughs> You don't need these men, but every little thing about your life, every little detail about your life indicates otherwise. You need these men for emotional support, financial support, physical support, family building support. Y'all need these men. Please stop. Stop the cap, man. The society is built and ran by men. So for y'all to be out here like, oh, we don't care and we let them leave, let them go. We don't want them anyway. Look at y'all now. You're looking real concerned. Let's pull it back. We don't even have to play the audio. Just, just look. Just look at her. Look at her face. She is seriously like, what, what do you suppose that we do? Like, uh, oh my God, like the men are really leaving. Like, what do we do? This is the face of genuine concern. See, it used to be a thing to where it was like, oh, well, you know, let's just hear what these men have to say and let them run off at the mouth, whatever. Now we are genuinely sitting in front of these men looking for answers like, what is the solution? Well, the thing is, men have been giving us the solution. Now it's too late to apply it. 
Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. We have got to get into this. Men have been giving us a solution. Now that we see that y'all are serious, now it's like, oh, hold on. But, but what do you think that we should do? We've been, they've been telling you. Be respectful. Listen to the men. Submit to the men. Reciprocate. Appreciate. Be fit, feminine and friendly. Y'all didn't even want to do that. So again, the men have been laying down what they've been looking for. Y'all just didn't want to listen. But now you want to listen and it's too late. It's too late to listen now, baby. Men have become tired of repeating themselves. They says, you know what? It'll be better for us to show these women than we can tell them. Because they take us as a joke otherwise. Until we start putting our action behind our words, these women will not take us seriously. These women will continue to be stuck and stagnant in their ways. They'll continue to think that we're playing games. Let us go ahead and back up what we're talking about. And the men did that, and boy, oh boy, did it shake us up to our core. And here's the real kicker. The real kicker to all of this is this. A lot of these females know and understand that they really do need men. I don't know if y'all have been paying attention, but life has been whooping the women's asses. Excuse my language. Yes. Women have been out here struggling and suffering. Now, for a while, we were able to coast by and get by because we had a lot of simp lollipoppies, suckers, easy licks. You know, these weak guys that, you know, we can depend upon to lean on them to take care of us and feel sorry for us and we can string them along and use them. But if y'all have been noticing, even those simps, quote unquote, have been pulling back. Like, you know what? I have been getting played and used. Let me go overseas too. Let me check out too. So all the way around, we've been getting, hold on. We've been getting, we've been getting our asses handed to us. Let's just keep it playing, keep it real. Keep it raw, real uncut, baby. Life has been lifing. And that is why you're starting to see a lot more women come through like, okay, Hold on. What do we do? How do we fix this? And once again, ladies, the men have been telling you what to do to fix it. But now I don't know if it's fixable. Let me go ahead and ask the chat. All right. Because you already know my big brothers and my little brothers be all in the in the building. OK, so let me go ahead and ask the, the brothers. Put a one in the chat. If you feel like it is fixable. As far as, you know, getting these westernized women to act right and do right. Do you feel like, you know, this is something that is not entirely a lost cause? Put a one in the chat. Put a two in the chat if you're like, nah, it's too far gone. I'm done. I'm checked out. I'm, I'm moving forward. Put a one if it is fixable. Put a two if it is not. All right. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, <laughs> the way that everything is going right now, I bet we see a bunch of ones. I mean, uh, wishful thinking, it's not. But we just never know at this day and age. At this point, I feel like a lot of brothers feel like, you know what? We've waited around too long. We've invested too much. And we got nothing in return but a bunch of ass to kiss. And so, yeah, I, I'm done with that. But hopefully we see some twos. We might see some twos. But the way that it's going, I bet it's a bunch of ones. Y'all let me know. All right. But look, ladies, I thought I would come on here and let you females know. Look, I told you so. I told you so. I've been warning y'all. Now y'all are seriously looking stupid asking these men, well, what do we do? I don't know. We tried to tell you what to do before while we still wanted to work around with you. But now, I mean, just do you, boo, right? Ain't that what y'all told these men? Do you, boo. We don't care. Go ahead and leave. Do you. 
Shit, I'll help you get your passport. I'll help you leave. Hmm. Look how that turned out for you. Hmm. But anyway, y'all go ahead and take this time out again to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. And again, ladies, the future is not looking that bright for us. A lot of men will be gone and a lot of us will be doomed. All right. And again, let's keep let's keep it real. A lot of women know and understand that not only do we need men, but when it comes to the sisterhood, when it comes to women banding together, you can't rely on these females. Mm -mm. They can't depend upon each other. That's why it's such a big deal that men are leaving. We know when it comes to other women, they're not going to look out for us to the same capacity that a man would. They're not. And that is what's really scary and really worrisome. But again, y'all like the video, show the video and subscribe. Y'all let us know your feedback down below and I'll see y'all next time. Much love and peace to my crown heads.